Hi once again guys, it's Andrew from BFA. So I just did a small review on my rear gas bottle 2 kilo holder from Top End Camp Gear. And I've also got a couple of nice other goodies that I bought from Dun & Watson. So I've just opened the box and I want to show and share with you my initial thoughts on what I think of the products that I got. So one of the products I did get was a rear wheel mount carrier. So when I opened the box, I got this nice, strong, solid sort of base where the wheel sits on, okay? I don't know what's in it. It's got their logo lasered in there, which looks cool. It doesn't match the color of my car, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray it. But that's okay, that's personal choice. But if you see here, the welds, it's nicely welded. I'll try to bring that closer. It's nicely welded, it's strongly made. So I'm really happy with the quality of that product. It also came with a plate and this long bolt with all the fittings, which is really good. Some of the products I noticed, uh, which I'll get to soon, didn't come with any bolts and fittings. So I've had to go to Bunnings or your local hardware and pick them up anyways. Okay, so the idea of this is you drill a hole in the back of your canopy, obviously threw some plates in the back as well, so it's nice and sturdy. And you mount this through the back like that, you tighten it on so it's nice and tight, and that sticks out the rear of your canopy. And then your back wheel goes on this. And then the plate goes over the top to lock it in, and you screw it on with the nuts. Okay, and that sits over. Usually a lot of canopies, they don't have any overhang in the tray. So a lot of people need these sort of holders and bases, which take a lot of the load of the weight as well onto the wheel. I have some overhang on my tray, but I will still be mounting this. So yeah, first thoughts. I can't fault it. It's a nice solid rod. It's got the hole there for your locks. You know, it comes with all the fittings. It's pretty straightforward. When I mount it, I'll show you how I go through the process uh, of mounting it onto the canopy. Nice and solid. It came here quick. The company was easy to deal with, so I would go back. have a drill bit big enough. I needed a 15 mil. And the highest I had was a 12, I'm pretty sure. So I just got a router bit. And I just cleaned out a nice little hole. All the way through. The other side of the canopy. And now I'm gonna feed this rod through. Hopefully. Beautiful. Okay. Bloody good when something like that comes together. Just gonna have to cut some of this little to cut around here and here. Also this washer here will fit properly, like so. There you go bud, yeah, on your bike, off you go. Glasses on, safety first. Safety first.
obviously I'm gonna have to stick this up, which is all done nicely. We're just gonna have a dry run first. Oh, and end up getting some nice lock tights. Down. 